Do you have a typical method of songwriting? Well, no. Um, I have a preferred method, but typical, no. When you are a prolific songwriter and you're working in an industry where you want to write for everyone, you have to learn various styles of writing. My preferred style of writing is to be behind the booth in a recording studio, mm -hmm. write and sing at the same time. That's my preferred. Mm. Because I believe the first bit of creativeness, creativeness that hits you is the yes. very best. It's always the best. Yeah. A lot of times old people overthink what it is that they're creating. Now, that's different than what Babyface would do. <laughs> and so I had to learn his style because even though he was my mentor, I never let him overshadow me learning who I am. Sure. You see what I'm saying? I just learned from him. Uh, so, yeah, I had to learn how to write with others in a room. Um, I had to learn how to listen to someone's track and then come up with lyrics. I had to learn how to write the music first and then the lyric. I had to learn how to be in a studio with other songwriters and create with them. But I prefer to be in a recording studio by myself with my engineer and just zone out. Yeah. Great. I would love for you to pick one of the songs you wrote and break down the process a little bit. No problem. So I wrote a song for Brandy mm -hmm. called Truthfully. And the song's concept is it's really interestingly different than what the average person would say is the norm in the sense of the, the concept is a woman hurts a man. Usually songs are about men hurting women. Right. right? right. And I was writing this song about how Brandy is talking to a guy that she really likes that has been hurt by another woman. Mm. Okay. And so she says, how could she ever fool around? Don't know what she was thinking about. While you were giving love, she let you down, right? Mm -hmm. And when I write a song, what I love to do, which I did learn from Babyface, is talk about it. Wow. You know, I kind of go, I kind of say, okay, so the girl who likes this guy and he's heartbroken and he doesn't trust any, wo any woman right now because another woman hurt him. So what would she say to him to convince him that he is safe with her? And that's how we begin bringing this concept to life. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times when I've written, I've written songs with people who were musicians. So my strength had become lyric and melody. I've long since developed my ability to play and write 100% songs. So now I do the composition and music as well. But at that time, my strength was lyric and melody. So I would listen to the music. And the first thing that comes to my mind is the melody, right? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Right? So I'm hearing the melody. And then I start mumbling. And it's almost like there's a spiritual being talking to me. And then and I'm hearing what they're saying. And I go, how could she ever fool around? Oh, that's great. And so I'll get my recorder. And then I'll just record that. And then I'll say, uh, don't know something. Da, da, da. Okay, don't know what, don't know what, don't know what. And so if I like the first part, don't know. And I go, don't know, don't know. And so I'll just wait until this voice continues to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Don't know what she was thinking about. Pretty much go through the whole song. Now, sometimes I would pay attention to the cook, the chorus, like the heartbeat of the whole song. And a lot of times I will come truth for me, even if you don't believe, you'll always say the truth comes from me. And so I'm like, okay, so the meat of the song helps me build the storyline around the punchline, the point, 
You see what I'm saying? Right. A lot of times when you have the hook, it's so easy to finish the song. I usually wait until I finish the hook and the verses, which makes the bridge so easy to come up with. Right. But then I'd have to be honest. Bridges are not that easy because the tail end of the bridge is the hardest part to connect back to the chorus. That's very, very challenging. You True. Know? Yeah, you know, it's just like, you know, the bridge is just kind of like that oddball of the whole song. It's that, it's that part like, why are you here? <laughs> that you have to marry, marry with the rest of the song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we call it the climax, right? When I was singing, it's so funny because when I wrote this song, I turned it in without a bridge. That's how hard it was to come up with a bridge. And Brandy and the label, Atlantic Records, wanted the song, but they were like, Mark, you need to write the bridge. And I was like, I know, I know, I know, I've got to write this bridge. So I went back in the studio, and it, it, it literally took me all day to f figure out what am I going to say, you know? So in that particular song, it was, um, oh, I would never say goodbye. I don't want to see you cry. God only knows I love you, but it's written in my eyes. You are the only one for me. There's no so I said... That was the bridge? Yeah, well, that was a lot of the bridge. But, okay. But, but, the, but that part was saying, because you got to remember, she's saying, she's talking about what the girl did to him. Oh my God, how did she miss you over? Why would she do that to you? No, 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 no. Believe me when I tell you, I'm going to always tell the truth to you. And then I said, well, let me let the bridge be about how good of a person this new girl is going to be towards you. I would never say goodbye. I don't want to see you cry. God only knows I love you, but it's written in my eyes. Baby, you are the only one for me. You know, there's no way I could ever leave. I would never, never never lie to you truthfully you know so that's, and uh to me that tied it in so i went i stopped talking about what this girl who did him who did him wrong and i started talking about her and how she would never do him wrong yeah beautiful it's like a little movie story yeah exactly exactly and that's what i'm saying if you could just speak the lyric and it all makes sense you know you have a great song you know in my opinion Right, but these days there are many songs that don't even have a bridge or even, you can't tell the structure or any kind of way. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. You know, it's funny you should say that because that's very true in the R&B world, but in the pop world, that's not the case. You still have songs. Mm. Oh, country. You know, a, yeah, yeah, country, absolutely. Latin music. So know, any people, advice to up-and-coming songwriters? I would say... I say this all the time to students that I teach. You have to get in touch with your feelings. You have to feel. You have to allow yourself to feel. Because if you don't allow yourself to feel, then you can't, you can't really speak about anything that anyone else is going to feel because you don't feel it, you know? And you have to also be willing to look at the world the way it is and experience life. To me, that is the first step to opening up yourself to receiving creative energy. And then take, take a writing class, like, you know, go to a seminar or go to a, a writing group and just watch how other people write songs and be open again. Be open to a process, you know. It's one thing to be a songwriter, but it's another thing to be a business person who writes songs. Right. Because you're never going to be able to write for the world and make money from it if you are not prolific. Because I've written for jazz artists. I've written for country artists, you know. I've written for pop music. I've written for R&B music, Latin music country you know i've written for a lot of people who were just different styles you know 
And uh, it's only because I allowed myself to be open to new to new things, creative. You know, mm-hmm. that's what I was. I didn't know you had a student. You, how can somebody be uh, your student? Oh yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm a vocal coach. But it's funny when you brought to my attention that you wanted to discuss songwriting. I'm going to start a master class in songwriting. Woo! Yeah, yeah. And um and I'm probably I was going to do it in Paris first. Like I was literally headed to Paris in July before they shut it down. Mm. But uh I reside in New York and Paris. So and most of my students are Parisian. Mm. Um yeah, but um because of the new way of things like Zoom and everything, I'm going to create a master class that I can bring anyone around the world to. That will be awesome. Okay, so what's new for Mark Nelson besides that? Well, uh, I did this thing called Men of Vocals, and I did a show in Vegas called Men of Vocals, and I'm developing that. Again, the world has to open up. I was there! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm developing that for the East Coast, for East Coast Run. I've developed this show called Man Code, and Man Code is really basically about giving advice to uh, women who are kind of clueless about a man's code and how he is and how he thinks and how he sees the world to help better relationships. So I got my hands on, you know, various things, but that's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying life. Fantastic. So this is going to be the last question today. Sure. What advice would you give to your 20-year-old self? Oh, wow. My 20-year-old self. I think the piece of advice that I would give to my 20-year-old self would be let people be who they are at all times. Mm. Don't take everything so personally. Mm. Yes. Right? And know yourself no matter what happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what I would say. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me, okay? Mark, thank you for spending time with me today. It's my pleasure. Until we meet again. Sayonara. Yes. Bye. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about new videos of Songwriter's Room or my new music or Japan News series. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Sayonara.